Hey everybody, it's Jess, and it is time once again for the Modified Dolls Charity of the Month video. And I apologize for the delay in getting this video done, um, but I have been very sick. Um, but you guys are very understanding, um, so I know there's no hard feelings. I just, you know, really strive to get these out a little bit earlier, but unfortunately, things happen. Um, but that's okay. Um, today, um, or this month, we are bringing you the Global Hydranencephaly Foundation. So, um, before I can tell you all about what they do, I want to, uh, explain a little bit about what Hydra, 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 it's a really hard word to say, bear with me here, Hydranencephaly. Um, is so their um, web page gives which I have over here on my laptop it gives a very detailed explanation about um, why hydranencephaly occurs and um, various different causes for it and things like that um, I'm going to um, try to make it less technical here and kind of shorten it down a little bit, but if you are, um, you know, really into learning more about this kind of thing in the foundation, I definitely encourage you to go check out their webpage and um, go to the page for what is hydrogen encephaly. So, um, basically, Hydranencephaly happens when a certain part of the brain um, does not form correctly in utero and it basically um, you get just a fluid filled space where the normal brain tissue would normally be. And um, this should not be conflu confused with hydrocephaly um, which is when you have um, too much cerebrospinal fluid around the brain and that can be drained off um, via a shunt and then most people go on to lead very normal lives. Um, Hydranencephaly is um, at this point um, not curable um, and it actually is a malformation of the brain itself um, or a part of the brain. So um, this, it can be caused um, by genetic abnormalities, it can be caused by um, uh, toxins being somehow introduced to the baby, like drug use or what have you, um, and they also believe that it can be caused by high doses of radiation during pregnancy. So, um, as you can imagine, um, missing a portion of your brain can cause some very um, serious problems. And um, so I'm just going to list, list off a few of the things that they have here. Um, uh, and one thing to remember is that uh, a baby with hydranencephaly um, at birth usually they they appear to be quite normal and healthy and um, then uh, things start to uh, change parents start to notice um, some of these symptoms and and issues later on so um, some babies will have um, some um, misshapen skull um, but that's not always. Like I said, a lot of times they do appear very normal and healthy. Um, but the um, as time goes on, the parents will start noticing um, problems with sucking and swallowing, which obviously babies need to do to be able to eat. Um, problems with crying, um, moving the arms and legs. Um, Seizures can develop, um, you can have visual impairment, lack of growth, deafness, blindness, paralysis, intellectual deficits, um, respiratory problems, 
And so, as you can imagine, um, depending on the severity, um, this can be a, an extremely devastating diagnosis for a family to get. And oftentimes, um, a diagnosis does not come quickly because um, a lot of those symptoms are not, they can be somewhat vague in that they can be symptoms of a lot of different things. So um, parents often go, you know, a long time without a proper diagnosis for their child, um, in which case some of these problems may be getting worse because, you know, they may not be getting treated correctly. So um, raising awareness for this condition is very, very important because um, you know, early diagnosis in just about any medical condition or disease is extremely important so that proper treatment can begin right away. And, um, you know, obviously the underlying cause of, uh, these symptoms can't be fixed, but, um, you know, there are things that can be done to help, you know, treat seizures, um, and, you know, there are therapies that can be helpful with, um, you know, some of the, like, the muscle and movement problems that these kids have. And so early intervention is super, super important. So I'm really glad that the Modified Dolls chose um, the Global Hydrant and Cephaly Foundation this month because this is, you know, something I had never heard of. It's very, it's pretty rare. And, um, but, you know, it's something that definitely needs a lot more attention. So, um, I'm really glad that, um, we have chosen, um, another f foundation for, you know, a, um, a very good cause for kids and raising, bringing awareness to, um, something very rare that really needs the attention. So, um, they have a wonderful mission statement and vision listed up um, on the website. I'm just going to read the first line of their mission statement to you because um, I think it kind of really encapsulates, you know, their vision as a whole. And um, I encourage you definitely to go visit their website and read the whole thing though because um, it goes into a lot more detail about how they are going about accomplishing their mission. So just the first line is, the Global Hydrogen Encephaly Foundation is a family-driven, nonprofit organization dedicated to providing families faced with a diagnosis of hydrogen encephaly the opportunity to help their child live the quality of life he or she deserves. That's fantastic, and that, is, I mean, honestly, to me, it doesn't get any more perfect of a mission than that. Um, everyone deserves a good quality of life. And as you can imagine, you know, with the um, problems that, you know, some of these kids face, um, it's very expensive. Um, uh, the equipment that they might need, the um, medical care, therapies, it's all extremely expensive, and um, one of the things that um, GHF does is they issue grants to help these families meet those expenses so that their child can get the care that he or she needs to get the most out of their life that they possibly can. And so that is just wonderful and amazing. And I, I, I just love that first line of that statement so much. And like I said, the rest of it goes into more detail about how they accomplish that. Um, but the, I think the important thing obviously is that that's, that's their goal, that's what they strive to do. Um, so that is fantastic. Now, um, one of the biggest things um, is for them is really to raise awareness um, because if nobody knows what it is you're not gonna bring really in any money so um, I love that they have um, different kinds of merchandise you can buy 
Um, and the big thing is they have a cafe press store where you can go to their store and you can buy all kinds of things that you can wear or carry or whatever um, to just help spread the word. So you can get all kinds of sweatshirts, t-shirts, um, <clears throat> excuse me, keychains, bags, um, cups, like I, there's all kinds of stuff on their cafe press store. Um, so, you know, if you see somebody walking around with, you know, a t-shirt for hydroencephaly, you might be like, what on earth is that? I have never heard of that before. And it might, you know, start um, a conversation and that really helps to um, get the word out there. And it also helps to um, raise money for uh, the foundation itself. And of course, you can always just give a direct donation um, by going to their website as well, um, which as always will be linked in the description below. Please, I encourage you to go visit them, see what they're all about because I can't nearly cover it in this video, um, but um, I'm really proud to um, be helping out, um, spreading the awareness, getting the word out about the foundation. Hopefully we can raise them some money. Um, as always, if you are not in a position to be able to help financially, uh, what you can do is share this video, um, share their website, the link to their website on your social media. Um, if you are a YouTuber, maybe do your own video, um, whatever, whatever you can think of, get creative. Um, but let's, let's help, um, the GHF just get the word out about their cause and, um, get some cash rolling in and help these kids get the equipment and therapies that they need and, uh, make their lives, uh, a little bit better, hopefully, hopefully a lot better. Um, so as always, um, the Modified Dolls links will, link will also be in the description below. Um, so if you are curious about us and what we do, which is some pretty awesome stuff, I have to say, go check us out down there. Um, and if you are a Modified Lady, please fill out an application and join our very awesome ranks. And I will see you guys back next month for the last video of the year. Oh my gosh. I don't even know how that happened. So I hope you guys are having an awesome November so far. If you are in the U.S., happy Thanksgiving. And uh, give this video a thumbs up for spreading awareness. And also, don't forget to share on your social media accounts. Bye.